What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we're going to be pulling uh, Soul Stains today. But just before we do that, I do want to apologise. I know I'm in a vest. No one wants to see it. But it's so hot in the UK right now. So it's my only option. So I hope you guys can grin and bear it. So Soul Stones, we've got 93 Mortal, 8 Immortal and 1 Eternal Soul Stones. Um, we'll probably get a few more, but I'll talk about it in a moment. So there is a, a tournament going on at the moment. And basically my aim is to get this legendary book. I'd love to be able to get both or even that sacred. But it's end game free to play. This is about three months, I think, of saving. And, you know, it probably would take us probably probably an entire year to be able to get that sacred. It's just not worth it. Um, so it's a bit frustrating. Obviously, this is built for pay to win and to encourage people to spend but we're not about that we're all about the free to play life um, and we will probably finish in the top six i'd like to say um but we'll see how it goes um so let's just have a look at the soul merchant not the soul merchant mystic market so we could buy some more malt yeah so we can just flat out buy some more mortal soul stones totally worth it um, and now we've got a difficult choice between all these immortal soul essences and immortal soul stones. I'm just, do you know what? We are going to get the immortal soul stones just for the video. It makes it a bit more entertaining and it's difficult because this is what's happened to me in the past. You know, you'll save up your immortal soul essences and then you buy, you know, like you'll start building up a champion and then you just happen to pull them. Personally, I just feel like this the awakening system is just awful. It needs to be reworked. But obviously, it's great for Playroom because they can just get loads of money out of it. Um, and without, with the rest, we'll just buy some. Yeah, so don't do... Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Um, make sure you buy Soul Essences because, I don't know, it's difficult. Either way, you are going to eventually get there. But it's just about getting there faster, really. Um, yeah, so just get ready to start pulling and wish list. I'm just going to change it up a little bit. So Leores is the or one of the best nukers on my account. So definitely want to invest in him. Uko is an amazing champion. Love Uko. However, Helicat, I don't feel like I really need to be investing in at the moment. But I do want to start investing in Wukong. Just Personally, I absolutely love him. I think he's an absolute beast for live arena. If I can find him, there he is. So yeah, so he's someone else that I really want to start investing in a bit more. Um, Epics. Um, I could probably mix this up a little bit as well. Uh, definitely want to be trying to get Seer now. My God Seeker's maxed to where she needs to be, so that's fine. Husk is still great, and I use him a lot, so it's definitely want to do him. Fennex, I'm not really using as much um, and i want to do a video on gala uh, long braids so hopefully we can pour a whole uh pour soul stone for her and rares i'm pretty pleased with the only one i want to take out is kale uh actually no take out take out fellhound bring in cold heart because she's just a beast and i'm starting to use her in content again so definitely want to try and make her a bit stronger and then the other champion is none other than Nullhorn. Um, you know, for Shogun, so definitely want to try and uh, awaken him a bit as well. So we've got 154 Mortal Soul Stones. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Let's see where uh, this takes us. And yeah, I want to know what you guys are after as well. So please do let me know. Gold off the back. Oh my God. Raf Matab. Um, I don't have him. I'm not using him. Um, I probably wouldn't use him. I'm not too familiar with the champion, but I don't think he's particularly strong. And we got two for Gala, which is great. And um, like I said, she's an amazing champion and can't wait to do a guide on her. But yeah, good luck with your soul pools, guys. Um, one star for Pain Keepers, not good enough, so that's going to be an instant sell. Not too much going on here. Okay, another gold. Angar. I don't have him. Um, Void Legendary, probably not be able to get him. 
two stars for Valkyrie. So I'm blessed on my account. I've actually got three. Whoa, it's all popping off. All right, so I've actually got three Valkyries. So being able to empower another one is going to be great. Um, Mother Sabel, I don't have her. Um, I know she's pretty decent for Hydra, but not, not one of the strongest champions in the game. Okay, so no gold. Uh, Fearmonger, I don't use him, but nice to have five stars on him. Might be able to find a place for him now in Shogun. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, nothing but trash. Uh, Rask is a decent champion. I'm a big fan of him. Great healer. Be using loads of content. Uh, I use him in Doom Tower in loads of bosses. Um, but yeah, he's he's a pretty pretty solid champion. Gold again, King, ah, uh, Gabla Koba. Sorry, Gal Koba. I don't have him, but he's a great champion. Eurofrost, one of my favorite champions. Uh, can solo loads of content, uh, but mine's gonna need more than one star. He's already got that. Okay, again, not looking great. I think this is gonna be just yeah. Let's just skip this trash. Okay, let's make some space. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we're only halfway through Immortal Star Stone, so let's just see where we are on the table. Hopefully, we're somewhere reasonably decent. Okay, for so 471, we might be able to actually push it to get that secondary legendary book. So let's go, boys. Let's see what we can do. All right. 72 points so we should be hopefully getting something decent another legendary <laughs> gamaran so i've actually got a fully awakened gamaran and he's still pretty awful to be honest um, i am trying to see if i can find a space for him in the game ideally in arena but yeah don't think he's gonna be able to do much for me harima oh so i don't have her on my account obviously i think everyone knows who she is absolute beast um, especially for arena just does so much oh gore grid as well two champions that would just be huge game changers on my account or anyone's account to be honest just like two of the best nukers but unfortunately i don't have either um but like i said that's that's why i hate the awakening system just because you can grind all day and you'll never get what you want or what you need Ah, oh, another champion i don't have um but yeah he's a really cool one Great cleanser. Okay, so 30 points. Probably going to be nothing but trash again. Yeah, nothing there. I did I did realize I've actually got four pain keepers on my account. Obviously, three for Iron Twins and one for Clan Boss. So, actually, we did need that. So, it's helping me just, you know, do a little bit more damage on certain bits of content. Foley. So, I do have Foley on my account. One star isn't going to be huge, but he is still... A great champion for arena um obviously not as strong as he used to be definitely uh been like power crept but he's still a bit of a beast and definitely worth investing in if you do have him okay again not much i mean skull crusher still a great champion but i don't need him anymore okay so we need to make a little bit more space and then we can start moving on to the big boy soul stones. Okay, so 24 and 20 and 1. Let's go. Come on. We, I don't know. I just feel like we're not going to be getting any Leora's ones today. But you never know. Romantu. Okay. I think I've already got one on him. Uh, he's still an absolute beast. That's not good enough for my series, but that's not going to help. But yeah, Romantu, still an absolute beast for Arena. I still love him. still use him all the time. Great for Arena offense and defense. Um, I don't really use him outside of anything outside of that. But if you guys are, please let me know. I'd love to know if you're using him somewhere else. And let's move on to the Soul Stones, the Immortal Soul Stones. And we've got 10. Come on, guys. So wish me luck and good luck to all you guys out there. Hey, Crypt King, Graal. Um, I did use him for Hydra and he is a little bit of a beast. Um, does some decent damage and not as well. 
Um, I accidentally fed mine, but I know he's a great rare champion. So if you do pull him, make sure you worth, uh, make sure you worth, make sure you invest in him. Uh, but yeah, great, great champion. Uh, and ten more. Come on. Oh, we need something big. All right, here we go. War Chief. I don't have him. <laughs> Another one. Ultan. I don't have. Oh. Raid is just pain. Oh, okay. So didn't really get anything. Um, Master Butcher, though, um, he's pretty solid as well. Lura, or Lua, sorry, is great as well. Juliana's pretty trash. So there's, there's some interesting champions there that, you know, potentially, like Lua, I could actually do some stuff with maybe for Shogun. Um, but yeah, she's a pretty good champion all around, though. All right, and our turn of Soulstone. Can we get something that's going to be a huge game changer? All right, it's epic. It's Skull Crusher, and it's five stars. So actually, that's pretty sick. Um, I could actually probably use him for Soul Gun, um, for Shogun even, and um, bring him as like a counter attack champion. So actually, that's pretty good. Um, and also maybe even fire not hard. Um, you know, maybe there's some potential there as well. So overall, pretty pleased with that. Um, let's just have a look at today's hustle. Have a quick recap. So Soul Collection. So yeah, Gorgrid and Harima have to be the best two that I've got today. Unfortunately, they're only like one and two star and also champions that I don't have. Uh, but you can see like sort of which ones I'm holding on to. I like to eat Crypt King as well. Pretty pleased with that as well. Um, but yeah, otherwise not particularly great today. Um, wish I'd got some um, for Nolholm as well. But um, let's see where we are in the tournament now. So we're second place. And we're, how how far are we off getting that sacred? Oh, 40 off. Okay, we're getting the sacred. I can't believe it. I didn't think it'd even be possible as free to play to do. Um, so let's actually go to the soul merch, not the mystic market and just buy some. All right, let's just buy some mortal soul stones and quickly pull those and like i said don't do as i'd say no don't do as i do do as i say make sure you invest in the mortal soul stones uh soul essences i think that's what i'm gonna have to start doing in future because we've just had really bad luck today um and we can actually get an eternal soul stone as well so let's let's just go for it guys let's just go hard um i can't believe this like i thought it was free to play this would be physically impossible um, but looks like I was wrong. Uh, Ox, never used him. I think he's a provoked champion. He's just like average. Uh, epic. Shamal. Uh, love Shamal. Um, I've got three that I use. So yeah, definitely can uh, um, empower one of them or awaken one of them even. And 100. Come on, legendary. It's a legendary. And it's Wurlum. I don't have him. And it's four stars. That's pretty nice, um, but yeah, don't have him, unfortunately. All right, so our Eternal Soulstone, 135 points. It's an epic, and it's Battle Sage, um, five stars. Uh, she's pretty trash, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I've never used her, um, but, you know, if someone does use her, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, so we've actually managed to get that Sacred. Well, I hope we managed to get that Sacred. And we have, which is just crazy. So three months to save in and we're even in the lead. Uh, I don't think we'll stay in the lead, but that's pretty crazy. It's free to play. Um, I guess dreams can come true. But anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.